What's going on guys, it's me, Sammy Mong, and we are back today on Albion Online. Today we're checking out the Great Fire staff, but before we get into that, there's not been too many uploads over the past week, so I just want to explain a little bit of reason why. So on Crowfall, obviously the other sandbox MMO that we're trying to delve deep in, there's just not been enough players online. Like I jump on every day, do a bit of gathering, just general progress, and then I try and find someone to kill, trying to assassinate, and there's just, there's not enough people. So we'll, we'll be back with Crowfall when we can find a little bit of action, potentially some siege wars, some guild fights, whatever. But on Albion Online, I've been jumping into the arenas as, as I do, okay? I'm sick and tired of going out to the dungeons and getting ganked. That will be returning, but I've been jumping into the arenas and I've been trying out different weapons. So what you're seeing at the moment is the Great Fire Staff, but what I've been trying out is more the melee weapons and like just general tankish like I've been going with the jewel swords the blood letter tankish not really tank is it jewel swords and blood letter I've been going with the standard dagger I want to try my hand at axes as well because I know axes are is it the single-handed axe when you have the single-handed axe that's got the vampire -like strike that heals you if you combine that with bloodlust where it heals you for every hit you can have some intense survivability but Everything I've got using these melee weapons has just not been anything compared to the Great Fire Staff gameplay that you're seeing on screen now. And that's just because with the Great Fire Staff, I feel like I'm actually participating more in the fights compared to the melee weapons I've been using. Like with the dagger, I've just been diving in with my dagger in one hand, my torch in the other hand, diving in, trying to get some poisons off on people, and then just getting absolutely murked on. Now, it's not just because I'm using melee weapons. Like all of the arenas over the past week that I've done, I've been getting absolutely rolled on just dying loads whether it be against the gvg team whether it be against just a general pre-made group of five or whether it's just me being completely bad and shocking but coming back to the great fire staff obviously overall it was the weapon i liked the most well i, I say it's the weapon i like the most the fire staff tree because there is there is a few of them you've got the wildfire you've got the brimstone staff i'm trying to think of the other names as well i think you've just got the standard the standard one-handed fire staff but just compared to all of the melee weapons, I feel like I'm doing damage. Now, what I've got on my staff at the moment is I'm using the Great Fire Staff, so I've got the AoE Pillar of Fire. But then I've gone for the Single Target Fireball and the Wall of Flames as my second spell. So the Single Target Fireball, as you can see now, once my team sort of just focuses on one person, like that Tank Nen, the Frost Tank in the top left, and now the Assassin, it's just doing so much damage. I'm able to get a little bit of burning, ticking damage off on them from just a general ignition from the fire but the single target fireballs the is it, i'm trying to think what is it it's the single target and not the aoe so the other spell is just firebomb and it'll only do i believe 180 damage or it says it does 180 after armor and health and resistance and stuff it can do a lot less but the single target one is meant to do 230 and as a fire staff user as you can see all i'm really doing is hanging in the back and trying to focus whoever's being attacked the most whoever my team's focusing so i'd rather have the single target then the aoe and potentially get a couple of aoe hits off i mean if you take a look at the opposing team's enemy composition and if you take a look at the enemy team's composition that's what i was meant to say at the moment or even now you can see that they're not generally too grouped up we've got a group of three there but that guy was just running in we've got someone coming in from the back so the fire bomb wouldn't be too effective compared to the fire ball that i'm using now and then secondly i've got the wall of flames and the pillar of fire the pillar of fire you can't even change so i don't really need to talk too much about that i will in a minute but the wall of flames has actually been great for my general play style as what i've been doing sort of hanging around in the back if anyone comes at me or if anyone comes at my healer i will try and stay near my healer a lot of the time i can put up the wall of flames and if they're a a tank a dps user a melee user anything they're gonna have to run around it or they're gonna get damage done to them so i think overall actually the only good gameplay i've gotten from the past week is with this great fire staff i mean you can see me dropping in a few pillars here and there just trying to get as much aoe damage as i can and sometimes as you can see just then i will use it on a single target because he was low like if i could get a few fi more fireballs off now i think i actually do i think i get the full fireball off and then finish them off with the pillar look at that yeah he pretty much dies but it's just it's just so useful guys what weapons do you use in the arena are you just dibbling and dabbling and using different ones like i am or do you stick with a certain weapon obviously albion online a lot of people stick to one weapon for all of it they want that specialization they want to get to 100 out of 100 but that's just not me 
One other question I want to ask before I go as well is about item power. So I've seen a lot of people in T6 plus, whereas I'm in T4.2 and I'm still getting the same average item power as everyone else. So I'm in T4.2 getting around 830, 840 item power, whereas everyone else in T6.2, potentially even T7, 7.1 is only getting around 860, 870. Now I know it scales down. But is it worth it going for the higher tier gear and then paying for the repair bill when you die? Or is, you, or is it better off just sticking in the lower tier gear and then just having that little bit less extra health than, say, someone who can afford the repair bills? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for all of your support and I shall see you in the next video.